Hi everyone. In this video, we'll start talking about parsing. And um, parsing is also known as syntax analysis. So what we have done um, in lexical analysis if, is we've made sense of uh, the words or the symbols in our line. And in parsing, what we're going to do is we're going to determine whether the entire line is uh, syntactically correct. And also we are going to uh, form something called a parse tree. We did discuss parse trees briefly in the theory of computation series. I've put the link in the description. Do watch that video as well. So coming back to the line of code that we have on screen, um, what's going to happen is this line is going to go through the lexical analysis phase and the lexical analysis is going to give us an output which looks something like this. So uh, it will uh, have if um, identifier equal equals identifier then identifier else identifier so this is what it would look like after uh, lexical analysis is done and um, one thing i would like to mention here is that um, although we could say that uh, if then and else could all be cat uh, categorized into the uh, token class which is keyword uh, we would still still need um, what keyword it is so we would still need if then and else as it is here because um, if we just say something like keyword identifier equal equals identifier uh, keyword identifier keyword identifier then um, we couldn't say whether that line of code is valid or not because we don't know what keyword it was uh, that was used there so uh, the lexical ana analysis is going to uh, although it would classify if as a keyword, it's still going to give us this thing right here. And now the job of uh, parsing is to determine whether this is a, uh, this is syntactically correct. And it's also going to give us the parse tree. And the parse tree would look something like this. Uh, we would have um, if then else, that's the root of our tree. And uh, this will have three parts. The first one is going to be the if part. The second is going to be the then part. And uh, the third is going to be the else part. And uh, within the if part as well, we have uh, the equal equals operator, which is being used on uh, two identifiers. So we have this here. Uh, the then part is just an identifier and the else part is just an identifier in this case. So this is the uh, parse tree that it's going to create. And uh, there are different ways on how it can, uh, how it can uh, make this parse tree. There's something called top down parsing. There's something called bottom up parsing. And uh, that's what we look at in uh, starting with the next video. Um, another thing that I do want to mention before that is that the parsing phase uh, makes heavy use of context free grammars. So we saw that lexical analysis made um, uh, heavy use of um, regular languages, regular expressions, and the parsing uh, stage is going to make heavy use of uh, context free grammars. And uh, here's how that would work. So uh, for example, for the line of code that we have here, what we could have is uh, an expression can go to um, an identifier an expression can go to um, an expression equal equals an expression and um, an expression can go to um, if expression actually I should probably use uh, lowercase for the if but if expression then expression else expression so uh, this is the context free grammar that I could use to come up with the line of uh, code that I have here. And uh, the way I would do that is uh, first off to start with an expression, I would use uh, the third rule. So I would use this first. Uh, I, I would get something like if expression, then expression, else expression. Then uh, I would change the first expression in that using uh, the second rule right here. And uh, then I would have something like this, which is if um, E equal equals E, then um, E else E. 
this is what I would have. And uh, third, what I would do is I would take all of the uh, expressions in uh, the, the statement at the bottom and uh, change them to identifiers. So uh, there would be a very complex context-free grammar um, for passing a lot of things like uh, while loops, for loops, and all of the different kinds of statements that we can have. But uh, parsing makes heavy use of context-free grammars, and that is how uh, it comes up with the derivations and the parse trees. So uh, we'll start talking about parsing in the next video. I hope you've understood briefly what parsing does. If you did, don't forget to give the video a like, subscribe to my channel, and share the video with your friends. See you next time.